This is Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 4, and we're going to present this in two parts. Not because it's an extremely long proof, but because it is kind of a complicated proof. Okay. Go ahead and draw up this diagram here. And remember these numbers, 3 and 10, which will be the first example, 8 and 4 will be the second. Okay. All right. Now then, let's get into the proof, shall we? Any number is either a part or parts of any number, the less of the greater. Let A and BC be two numbers. Well, you saw lines A and BC. And let BC be the less. Well, as you can see here, BC is the shorter of the two numbers. Or magnitudes. Okay. I say that BC is either a part or parts of A. For A, BC are either prime to one another or not. Okay, in the first example, he's going to talk about numbers that are prime to one another. Hence the numbers 3 and 10. The only thing that's going to divide both 3 and 10 is 1, which is a unit. And we have talked about this many times. Okay. First, let A and BC be prime to one another, which we did. Then, if BC be divided into the units in it, which we are dividing... 3 into parts of 1. So there's got to be BE, which is 1, EF, which is 1, and FC, which is 1. Okay. Then if BC be divided into the units in it, which we just did, each unit of those in BC will, will be some part of A. Okay. Well, 1 is a part of 10. And so BE is a part of 10, EF is a part of 10, and FC is a part of 10. Okay? All right. I'm going to read this real carefully. Then if BC be divided into units in it, which we did, each unit of those in BC will be some part of A, which we said it is, so that BC is parts of A. Well, BE is a part of A, EF is a part of A, and FC is a part of A, so BC is parts of A. Which, basically, you can make a fraction called 3 tenths. That's a proper fraction, and yes, I talked about this in a previous video. So 3, te three tenths is a proper fra fraction. There you go. Alright, next, let A and BC not be prime to one another. Then BC either measures or does not measure A. If now BC measures A, BC is a part of A. Okay, well in this example we're using the numbers 4 and 8. A is 8, BC is 4. Okay, so BC measures A twice. Okay, so 4 is a part of 8. I think everybody can understand that. And then it goes into yet another part. And I will talk about that in the next video. So stay tuned.